There's no secret to balance. It's a question of practice and constant awareness that eventually evolves into a reliable sixth sense. One thing balance is not, and that is keeping still, immobile, rigid. Balance is found in movement and playing with new frontiers, edges, perimeters, and the finding of a point of equilibrium in a world of constant change. So to help develop this sense of balance, we're going to build on the basics of momentum and swing we learnt in the last workshop by learning an exercise called the Hours of the Clock. Imagine you are standing in the very middle of a large clock on the ground. In front of you is the number 12, to the right 3, behind 6 and to your left 9. Take your weight into your right foot and place your left foot forward, pointing towards 12 o'clock. Drop your arms and keep them at your sides. We're going to use the body's momentum and swing, as well as the ball of the supporting foot to turn around, align our hips, and face the different hours of the clock. And to do this, we're going to first turn a little in the opposite direction that we want to go, in order to create a little Tai Chi energy. Then using the waist, lift the left foot and swing round in the other direction to the right on the ball of the foot. Try landing at three o'clock. Then we repeat the same move from three, landing at six, from six, landing at nine, and from nine, landing at 12. Take your time. If you need to work smaller units, try every hour or every two hours. If you find you can do this without too much problem, then from the 12 position, gather energy and don't stop till you reach 6. And from 6 to 12. The next stage is to go from 12 all the way around to 9. Return to 12. And of course, finally, from 12 to 12. Important points to remember. Keep your head up, don't look at the floor. Feel your way around. Your inner timing sense will tell you when to land. Use the body's momentum and swing. Generate energy from the hips and waist. Avoid jerking the body. Rather try to keep the movement smooth and even. As you turn full circles, return your head as soon as possible to look to the front. This will help you stop feeling dizzy. And of course, Use the arms as always for balance and to aid the swing.